ASMR, or Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response, is a relatively new phenomenon that quite a few people seem to experience. But is there any science or theories actually behind it? Well, firstly, we can say for certain that it does exist. It's observable, measurable, and repeatable. Therefore, there is definitely something going on. The problem then comes down to identifying both what and why. When we look at what's going on, there seems to be lots of different stimuli that produce an effect. These effects may vary from person to person, or even to groups of people. This could mean that rather than being a single phenomenon, there could be several related or even unrelated ones, which might make tracking down a cause or even an effect more difficult. We do know, however, that there is a sensory stimulus, particularly a tone of voice that elicits a response in the brain, which in turn produces a positive, stimulating or relaxing effect in the person. There are various chemicals that are released in the body that could be part of this system endorphins which are produced by the central nervous system and the pituitary gland and which may produce a sense of euphoria. Dopamine is like a reward system for the brain relating to neural stimuli. Oxytocin, um, a short-lived chemical which is produced by the hypothalamus, it increases trust and it reduces fear levels. Serotonin contributes to a feeling of well-being and happiness. Um, most of it's produced in the gut, but some is produced in the neurons of the central nervous system. It could be any of these, or even a combination of them. And medical trials would be the only way to know for certain. But a survey could be used uh, for people to describe which feeling most fits in with their personal experience. Why then are these chemicals actually released in the body? could be that the stimuli act as a, say, a form of hypnosis, or there is a change in the olivari complex, especially regarding uh, what's known as uh, binaural beats and the frequency of the input. However, due to the variety of the stimuli, which work for some and not for others, I'm tending towards childhood memories of trust and relaxation. This could take the form of, say, bedtime stories or lullabies told in a calm and relaxing voice, or a parental heartbeat, or yet the familiar rustling of clothes or bed covers, all of these reminders of a time when you were safe, relaxed and protected, stimulating a current similar feeling of relaxation. Those are my views. Up to you whether you think they're good or not.